All right, greetings, uh, my fellow fishermen and women. Uh, this is Fishing Planet, as you probably know. And we're going to start tutorial here. Just a heads up from the start, um, this is not going to be an intense series packed full of information. This is more along the lines of a let's play type thing where you will be watching me level. I will try to get as much information as I can to guide sort of what we're doing because a lot of this will be new to me as well. But the idea behind this is I want to try to level in Fishing Planet a lot more focused on uh, bottom or feeder fishing. We will have to do a little bit of float early on and we may do some float as we go. We'll see how, see how that works. Um, but primarily we want to focus on feeder or bottom fishing. I don't think... Um, I've done a lot of that in, in, in Fishing Planet other than like high level carp fishing and stuff. So I'm really curious, especially some of the low level like European maps, how that works and, and how good it might be for leveling. It's, uh, it's going to be interesting. So that's the idea behind this. We'll see how it goes. Um, but let's get through this tutorial and, uh, and then we'll, we'll look at the shop and kind of see what we're, what we're working towards. Um, Man, this tutorial is so guided, it like won't even let me change the volume or anything yet. So our focus here in this first video will probably just be to see, can we get to, um, can we get to level, I think it's six, because really what we want is, all right, well, no, goodness, it still won't let us, okay, that's fine. We'll just fish right here in the same spot. Um, because really what we want is to be able to buy the first rod stand and and uh, and that way we can start having two rods out uh, at least one of them being a uh, feeder bottom at least and the other one possibly possibly um, possibly float or even holding a second feeder rod I don't love holding feeder rods it's nice when you can put them on a stand but early on unfortunately you're just not able to um, not able to have a good rod stand. I, I'm going to try to keep this as a free to play exercise. I can't tell you how tempting it is just to get like a, you know, a small DLC that gets you started with, with feeder stuff because you'd get a nice rod stand right from the start. But I always find free to play or um, free to play series is probably a little more interesting and, and helpful for some folks. Okay. So now they want us to use red, red worms and they want us to go to tools and equipment in the shop and buy this go back to the map and go fishing so now i assume they'll have us equip the red worms i've got the volume so far down because i had made a higher level video fishing for white sturgeon and the bells were absolutely driving me crazy how loud they were all right go to the middle of the bridge okay lily pads so that makes me think this might be a nice place to fish. Okay, it's too deep. All right, use the O button to go down to 19. Oh, goodness. All right, we're at 17, a little too far. Is it O and P to go back and forth? I think it is. All right, so this is red worms. Let's see what we can catch over here. Uh, it's a good tutorial. I just forget how locked in you are to not even be able to make changes to your settings or anything. Having to wait a little longer on the on the catch. That's yeah, a bigger bluegill, isn't it? Wow. Okay. We hit level two already. So we got the new fish net. We'll look at that to see if that's worth getting early on. It probably is. Um interesting that looks like ground bait type stuff but i don't think you can really use much of that at level two can you okay open the lake map to continue leave now check out your rewards So we made 92 bucks and 56 XP. 
We completed the tight lines tutorial. That's funny. They've got us on California. Um, okay, so I think we're through with the... Um, Yeah, I basically want no music, to be honest. All right. Something like that's probably going to be good. Okay, so let's look at the shop before we go back to Texas to keep leveling. What we are basically wanting to get here is as quickly as we can into feeder fishing, which technically I guess we could do that now, but we would just have to hold it. What I'm looking for is not really wanting to do feeders a whole lot until we can use um let me think it's going to be under tools and equipment it's rod stands so we have to be level six for that so i don't think it takes long to get to level six we'll probably be kind of doing this during this first video let's do look at um what baits are available i also have up the fishing planet uber sheet and uh, so if you're ever like wondering what i'm looking at that's what i'm looking at uh, if you don't have that or know where it is really if you just google search fishing planet uber sheet you'll it'll it'll come up i mean multiple places have this have this uh this excel document it's it's a little old at this point and unfortunately there's no great guides that i know of that give you good information about um bottom fishing because that kind of came out after all this but um all right so flies and grasshoppers are really what's best for bluegill a lot of times what about the red deer just trying to look and see what baits might be available leaf leeches crawfish cut wax worms and then white crappies what we may, might also catch here leeches wax worms so if, once you get leeches and wax worms it sounds like that can be pretty good but baits what do we even have available to us right now nothing level three is cheese so none of those none of those that i just said are available level five has flies and um so that might be worth trying oh grasshoppers at four it might be worth trying those two here just to see if that gives us like a better percentage of of trophies i don't think we want to spend any money yet though i think we're basically just trying to level up and then we'll then we'll start using that um all right so let's go back over here let's see if this can oh you know what hold on i want to do something here it may have done it automatically, but if it didn't, let me check. Yeah. Oh, this is... Yes. We are in the right room. I love it. Okay, so what you always want to do is check... Hot, okay, hot fishing right now, so we should be good. Let's put this on... 19 inch, and let's just go right back to the same spot for now. Um, and we can see what Amar is catching in chat as well. Uh, where did our bobber setting go? It's not supposed to be gone, is it? So we missed that strike. I think, I think you can still have that up, right? Maybe not. Maybe we just need to do uh, medium. Oh yeah, we're going to go to metric. Oh shoot, we're gonna go to metric so that uh, since we're gonna be doing feeder bottom fishing, it's a little more Eurocentric. So let's go to metric, metric sizes. I guess it's reloading us though. I thought at early levels it continued to show your strike icon in the top right hand side corner. Um, does it not though? Bite indicator visibility. We'll put bobber size on medium so I can see it a little better. My old man eyes. And I don't know. It should be good, I guess.
All right, are we still at, yep, good time for fishing. And oh, we're still in the exact same spot we were. Yeah, so now we've got the, the, the bite indicator up there. I think it just, maybe it stops telling you when to strike later, but I feel like it always has that bite indicator in the top right-hand side corner. Um, but I could be wrong. We'll see. All right, there's a little shiner. Oh, you know what we didn't do that we're supposed to is uh, look at that upgrade for our keep net, but we'll do that after one day. Of fishing isn't there a way to um isn't there a way to change the casting you're doing hand casting is eight we're just tossing it out there I thought there was a way even with this, maybe with this like lowest level thing, it's just fixed. No, it's got a reel on there. You should be able to actually cast it. Maybe not though. Maybe the starter one, you can't do that. Hey, there's a decent fish, right? Let's turn up that drag a little bit. Yeah, trophy white crappie. That is what I'm talking about. All right, so that hit level three already. We don't care about spoons. We're gonna. Try. We may do some spin fishing here and there in this series, but I really don't want to do much of it. There's a vest we can use. What else matters to us? What is a bully grasshopper? Simple bell. Another net. And a bunch of gear so that's going to be good we can also now go to the check uh the check place which is what i want to do so i really thought there was a way to switch between types of casting but again that may not be on this on this rod I like this little spot. Wait, why can't we take this fish? Do we not have an advanced license? Okay. Let's get the advanced license if we don't have it. Thank you, Amar. I think we just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We definitely want to get the advanced license. Okay. F11. There we go. Holy cow. It's driving me crazy. Thank you. That's why this isn't really a guide. This is a let's play because I've forgotten more than I remember about Fishing Planet. It, I'm, as, you, as many of you probably know, I'm much more familiar with Russian Fishing 4 than I am with Fishing Planet, but I do enjoy Fishing Planet. Oh, did that fish just pop off? Jerk of a fish. All right, so now we're actually casting it out a little bit instead of just like bending the rod out a little bit. I felt like we were using a telescopic rod or something. All right, see how quick we can get to six. Oh, shoot. And then I guess we'll try... Um, I guess we'll try... Uh, feeder fishing here at let's move a little bit so we're not quite on top of it like that um, we'll try feeder fishing here at Texas first but I do want to get over to the check map and, and really focus on bottom fishing there as well 
Nice, Amar got a spotted bass. Green sunfish. So we probably want to take that drag back down a little bit. We nearly just popped our leader or whatever. Uh, this is about a max cast with this little rod. Another trophy. Very nice. All right, how are we doing on our hot time efficient? Yeah, we're still good. Um, let's see if we can get. No, it will not affect me at all. All right, let's try to do a max cast up here. Straight ahead. I wonder what we got snagged on there. All right, we'll just leave it there. There's level four. Grasshoppers. Let's try grasshoppers. Um, how close are we to being full, actually, in our net? We're very close. So let's fill up, and then we'll go examine at this store everything, and then we'll come back with grasshoppers and try those. We're doing really good on the white crappie here, though. Let's go a little farther out here. I guess we need to find a bluegill spot though to get the trophy using the grasshoppers. Wow. And in this spot, it seems like we're getting crappie and shiners. Well, there's a radier sunfish. It seems like there's all kind of fish right here actually. Such a nice little chill experience. Low level fishing planet, fishing. Okay, so we can catch one more fish and then we will have a full net. And as you know, when your net's full, you've gotta be finished fishing for the day. 
before you can start earning more fish, which at Texas, that doesn't really matter. But at later, later lakes, that's how they, yeah, Radier sunfish, huh? That is how they um, kind of balance not, not being able to catch too many fish or make too much money in one day, basically. Okay. So now we have to go to next morning. Or we can just leave. That might be the safer thing because that doesn't reset the cooldown, right? We want to leave anyway because we're going to the shop. Okay, so we made $279, got some XP. And let's see, I know we want to get some bait, try out some bait, maybe a couple hook sizes, but let's see what we can get that's worth getting at this point for, um, for gear. Okay, so let's go to the shop. Oh, we do have missions, that's right. So one thing that's nice, I think, is just to go ahead and track this early Lone Star mission. So we need to catch a white crappie, red fear, green fish, and bluegill. So that won't be too tough, um, but we'll, we'll focus on that down the line a little bit. Okay, so let's look at tools and equipment first. Uh, all right, so at level four, we can get this. And this is a huge improvement over what we have. We can't get another one till eight, so I think it's worth going ahead and getting this one. This allows us to get a lot more fish, okay. And then let's go ahead and make sure that we get that installed. All right. And then we can go ahead and sell the old one. We don't need it. Okay. Now, so that was a keep net. Let's look at tackle boxes. At level seven, we probably want to save up for the chum chest if we're going to do a lot of feeder bottom fishing. At least I kind of want to try out the chum chest, uh, but we can't do anything yet. Rod cases. Do we have anything right now? We don't. Um, so it's gonna be really important to get a rod case. The next one's not till 12, so we wanna get this so we can have two rods with us. Two rods, two reels. So I think it's worth spending a thousand on that. Okay, and that one should have just gone straight to being equipped, yes it is. So now we have a second rod slot. So when we do get our first feeder, we'll still be able to use our float as well and then waistcoats i don't think we have anything right now we don't do we want to get one now do we even need it or do we want to wait till a little higher level we'll probably be at eight before you know it and that's a pretty big upgrade so it saves us the 200 bucks well we won't get that unless we run out of out of tackle spots um, and then this is really what we want is the slingshot mono rod stand. And then, but we have to be level six before we can get that. Okay. Other than that, we're good. Let's go look at what baits we can get now. So we can get grasshoppers times 25. Let's try it. And then let's go with, let's also look at hooks. Can we get a size four? Yeah, we can get a size four hook. Or two. Let's get, let's just get a four for now, just for fun. I think four or two would be fine. Um, and then let's go to inventory, backpack. Let's go to this rod. Let's put a size four hook on and let's put grasshoppers. We want to see if we can catch a trophy bluegill. Okay, that's what we're trying to do here. I think that's all we need. Let's go back to Texas. I have no idea where bluegills bite, if they bite, but let's find it. All right, let's try. Okay, fish species, bluegill. Go fishing. Now again, I don't know where bluegill are, 
but it feels like they should just kind of be mixed in with everything else. So let's say if we just, let's see if we just, we'll go to that same spot, see if we get a bite at all. Uh Oh, okay. So I guess Amar is not in a room right now. I'm going to do a new friends only room and then you should be able to join on me Amar. Okay, here we are. 19 centimeter. F11. Kind of out in the middle here. So we don't get snagged. Let's see if this does anything. Whoa, that was quick. Okay, black shell tiner, black tail shiner, easy for you to say. If it doesn't have an option to join a friend's room, then just do a new friend's only room and I'll come join yours. We're having to wait a little longer on bites possibly with the grasshopper, but the hope is that, and the bigger hook size, the hope is that we'll catch better fish. But if the bite rate's too slow, it might not be worth it. And we can also try some other spots as well if we need to. taking too long we'll cast it again so for Lone Star Exploration 1 is telling us that we need to catch yeah so if I click on this one it should let me join yours now Let's go over there, actually near where Amar is, I think, can sometimes be pretty good for these types of fish. Oh, look, he's got a feeder rod. Are you having any success on the feeder rod? I love it. That is awesome. All right, let's go down to like, let's try 50. I don't know how deep it's going to be right here. Yeah, that works. Nice.
We might just be slowing down the bite too much with the grasshoppers, to be honest. I mean, we kind of need to find a spot that's where we're catching bluegill. And then we might be able to determine that we should move up to the grasshopper and bigger hook. But let's see if we actually get this fish. I think a bite went away. Nope, maybe not. It's just not worth all this time, is it? Okay. Let's we'll make sure we are at a hot time of fishing, by the way. Yeah, we're good. Um, okay, so I guess for now, let's go back to eight with red worm. We'll see if this spot seems like a good spot with smaller hook and red worm again. Yeah, we're just not getting many bites here in general. Um, so, we could put a marker. We could put a marker like right here. And um, we'll just call it. Um, and let's see where that is and then make set it a little deeper and just see if we can get something out of that hole oh i don't know if we can even reach it we're pretty close uh okay let's just try this all right so let's see how deep we want to go we want to try a meter I had a few trophy blue on the other side fishing out of the lilies on the left. All right, what is that? All right, that's a bluegill. Okay, so just for, for science here, um, let's try putting our big hook back on and our grasshoppers, and let's go to that exact same spot. And if this doesn't work, we'll go over across where Amar's talking about. If I can get to the right, if I can figure out where exactly it is. All right, let's see if we get, since we just caught a bluegill there, we know they're there. Let's see if we can get one on the grasshopper. Hey, Amar, one cool thing is like when we're at a, at a, at a lake like this, like you start off with five free markers 
And so I don't know if you know how to use the marker system, but if you catch a trophy, one thing you can do is press M to open up your map when you don't have a line out like this. And um, why isn't my marker showing up, by the way? It should be out on this. Normally the marker shows up on here and you can click on it, right? Oh, wait. It's this right here. There it is. Okay. So if you go to M, you t t click this on so you can see it. But anyway, like this marker here, I could share with you. And then if you accepted it, it would put that marker on your map. And so that can be really helpful. So then like, then it's easy to share spots, if that makes sense. All right, I'm going to delete this marker. Because you only have five of them to start off with, but it can be really helpful. All right, he's saying straight across from here. Um, so let's go, let's fast travel to this spot. Go fishing. And I assume he means like in the lilies here. Now it's going to be a lot shallower. So let's go to we'll start at like 25. I'll try the grasshoppers first. If, if we don't start getting bites on the grasshoppers, I'll switch to red worm for now. Especially if you ever catch a unique definitely mark that spot because then it, you, you know if you can catch it over and over again in that same spot it's worth having that spot for a while that marker all right let's see what this is it looks like a bluegill yeah trophy bluegill okay so how this would work is we would then hit M. We would hit the plus sign, set the mark for the last fish, or you can manually put one in and then we'll do trophy bluegill and then we'll share this with Amar. So Amar, if you accept that, you'll then have that marker for as long as you want it. And then you can delete it if you decide you don't want it anymore. And it'll give you the inf information on the fish that was caught there. So that's kind of one way we can do this when we're fishing together. Um, how do you accept it? You should be able to go to, hold on, I'll figure it out in a second. I think you actually have to go to like your friends list or something. And then there's a place that says accept mark or something, but I'll look in a second. Or if you want to share one with me, I'll, I, I think I can find it though. I think I'll remember the screen when I see it. still having to be patient even though it's probably worth it for the trophies it's like definitely having to be patient here come on I like seeing the trophies, but I don't know if I have a patience for this. Oh, quit, quit faking me out. Just take it. There you go. If that's a bluegill, it's a nice one. Oh, 
nice. So now we've got two trophies coming out of the same spot. Okay, let's see if we can figure out how to accept those marks. Yeah, right here. Go to friends. And then when you go to this friends tab, I think there's something under my name that should have the mark or accept mark as an option here. Let me know if that doesn't work though. All right, so we're two for two on trophies in this spot. That was a golden shiner. Sweet. So we finished Lone Star Exploration 1, which gave us a glowing pear-shaped float. Uh, what did you catch, Amar? It gave us a thousand bucks and some uh, coins. Let's see, how do I see what, how do I go to chat? Um, let's see. Tab. Looks like it's tab. No, that's not doing it. Page up, page down. Smallmouth Buffalo, that's awesome. Do you wanna uh, share the mark? But smallmouth Buffalo is one of the things we wanna focus on here once we're feeder fishing. Shoot. How do I get? Oh, that's it. Control. Okay, that's what I was trying to figure out. Yeah, 1.22 kilo smallmouth buffalo. That's a that's awesome, Amar. All right, and then I can, oops, do that and minimize again. Okay. So let's see. Let's do this again. What level are we now? I'll have to check after this fish. Yeah, if you can figure out how to do it, share me the mark, Amar. That way I can... I know of another smallmouth buffalo area that, that I'll also try, but uh, I definitely want to catch some of those as soon as I get my feeder rod going. Lots of nibbles.
Okay, let's go ahead and see what level we are. We're level four. And let's switch back to red worms in size eight. I really think the grasshoppers is probably better once we get somewhere where there's a unique bluegill. You can get trophies on anything. I think it's more the unique that prefers the uh, grasshopper. It's probably not worth the longer wait time on a bite. I bet we'll still catch really good fish here on on regular. Huh. Yeah, it's already has me as friended you, Amar. That's weird. Or did you mean through Steam? You meant through the game, right? So a new personal record on the Radier. You know, I probably should have gotten, let's see if this local shop has um, size six hooks. Yeah, let's try six hooks. Okay, sounds good, Amar. I'll see you in a minute. All right. Um, yeah, we're going to try size six hooks, but still with the red worm. Kind of in between what we were using with the grasshoppers and the size eight hooks that we start with. If that kills off the bite rate, we'll go back to eight. That seems like a good fish. Nice white crappie. Pulled that out of the water so fast.
Trophy white crappie. That's what I like to see. All right, level five. So we just need one more level. We can use dough balls now. That'll be good to use, especially when we get our feeders going. Flies. That probably works pretty well here as well. Mayfly, Shiner, there's a simple bell. Yep, good. We're still in the hot time of fishing, but just barely. Catfish, buffalo, grass pickerel, spotted bass. Um, okay, so... Yeah, we actually don't want to track that mission because we're not spin fishing, at least not right now. So let's see, what was I going to do? I think I was going to try going back to eight. Oh, the other thing I want to do is see what the red radier sunfish uh, description says about them, like their preferred baits. I think we've had a trophy bluegill and a trophy white crappie now, but we haven't seen the Radir sunfish yet, but look how much faster that bite rate was. It might just need be that it's better just to keep the eight on. I don't know, you catch less trophies, but more consistent. All right, so if we go to fish species, where's the Radir? There are Radir trophies here. Blood maggots, crickets. Yeah, let me look at this real quick. Uh, Okay, 
It says I'm already friends with this user. All right, so is there anything we have? Maggots, crickets? Nah, not yet, at least not at this shop. We might at the general shop. I can't remember if we unlocked. I would think we would have unlocked maggots, but maybe not. forever for that little fish to decide to uh, actually bite it's another green sunfish not exactly what we want but it'll do that was a nice quick bite and it feels like a decent fish too let's go the drag a little higher there we go There's a Redeer Sunfish. Worth a lot more money than the, the last one. Yes. Yes, Amar. Alright, confirmed it. Does that work? What level are we? We're almost five and a half. We're getting there. <laughs> um, how do I get my s s notifications to stop popping up?
time is it 710 it's like it all of a sudden died out didn't it oh okay let me check it It still says that it still says we're friends. For me. All right, so let's switch to bread. Just see how good bread is for a minute. Um, let's also look at the time though. We might want to, we're getting out of a hot time. So if we go to like 18, See how this looks. I was trying to get to level six before I wrap this first video up. So next time we can start fresh with the feeder ride. I assume bread will pretty much catch the same fish here. comes rocketing towards us. All right, one second. All right, sorry about that. So let's see. Man, for this size fish, that fish net is OP. We're like catching a ton of fish.
bet they sell red worms in the shop here though. You can hold Z down and switch what bait or lure you have. this spot taking as long either. Maybe it's just better in the mornings. Oh, that stinks. That was like catching a fish, but then it also got snagged. Let's get it out there a little bit. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, Mar. Oh, we're getting there. are getting there. I don't know what's going to happen first. Are we going to fill up our net or are we going to actually hit level six?
So we got $622 and a good bit of XP going to the next morning. Let's go ahead and go back down to the other spot. Ooh, look at that though. It's really not good fishing till noon. I don't think we have a cooldown, right? All right, now we have a cooldown. So if we want to start a different day or whatever, we'll have to leave. Let's check this spot again. It's always nice when it's good fishing first thing in the morning, but that's just not the case this day. Oh, we don't have the um, the depth right, do we? What were we using? Like 50 maybe? 50 here, I think. That was pretty quick and a pretty nice fish. Oh, we're so close. So that's our new personal record on the sunfish, for dear sunfish. I don't know, it seemed like we were getting more trophies before. Maybe we should go back to grasshoppers. Let's try a little bit larger hook though.
Okay, we've got Grasshopper Zone. But still the six hook instead of the four. Decent. There we go. We just got to get on the trophies with these small fish. You got to be catching trophies or you just don't hardly get any XP. I mean, even a trophy bluegill is only 17 XP. Okay. All right, level six. Let's go ahead and set up so that next time we're ready to go let's go ahead and leave so we've got another 168 dollars so about what 400 dollars over the last two days and let's go ahead and get everything set up for our feeder rod and then next time we'll be ready to start fishing with the feeder rod i don't know if we'll do it here or if we'll go to that uh check check lake but one or the other uh okay so shop what we want is a rod stand, $530. So now we can put our feeder down and still float fish at the same time. And then we need to get Okay. Then we need to equip a feeder rod and we'll get the Creek Pro 270. What's the difference in waiting till level seven? Just a slightly stronger rod. It is nicer to be honest. It also gives you a little bit more casting weight, but we'll try this one. And then spin reels. We can get this, goes up to max drag two, max drag 2.25. I guess we want the wind cast, get a little bit more strength. What does this go up to? 3.25. All right, then we need some line. We basically want line that's about two kilos, between two and 2.25 kilos. We can't get fluorocarbon line yet, unfortunately. The strongest line we can get is 1.4 kilo. Nope, we can get 1.8 kilos, so that's what we'll do. And then we're going to need we're going to need a sinker and I'm guessing we need the lightest sinker possible. And then we need a a leader. Again, mono leaders are not a thing yet for us. I mean sorry, fluorocarbon leaders are not a thing. So we can get 1.2 kilo. 
We go to 1.85 next level. This will have to do for now. All right, so lines 1.8, 1.2 on the leader. So we really only have 1.2 strength. And then a four hook, whatever bait, terminal tackle is optional, good. And then we need bells. All right, so we spent a lot of our, or a good bit of money, but we have a setup now. We have a setup now. Let's see what baits are available to us. Pearl barley be good. Pet, pet food could be good. I think we can catch, um, I think we can catch, So pet food for the channel catfish and then semolina and I think dough balls for the smallmouth bat buffalo. Oh, we can't do semolina yet. But I'm pretty sure dough balls work. And we'll try some pet food as well. Pearl barley will be good if we go across the pond and try it for roach, which we probably will. I don't know what Zeeg are. We can always use, oh, bread with honey. Again, on the other side of the pond, that might be good. Crickets could be good, I guess, to try on feeder. Okay. So we now have a float and feeder set up. I guess until we can get a second or a double rod stand, I don't really want to hold a feeder rod. It just seems ridiculous. So we'll probably just float and feeder at the same time, but we'll see. And then the other question is, do we want to go continue at Texas or do we want to spend a little time at, uh, at check and see if we can figure out how to catch the roach the um, young carp, young mirror and common carp, the Prussian carp, which I think is a smaller, yeah, those would actually be perfect for us. Silver bream, and then the tench. So yeah, I think it'll be fun. There's so many different species there that we can play around with and try to find good spots for. That's probably where it's at since we want to do a lot of bottom fishing. What are we going to catch on the float though? Maybe some of the same stuff. You'd probably be better to do like float and I mean feeder fishing and spin fishing and go for the perch and the pike, but I just don't want to do spin fishing on this series. So we'll see how it goes. Okay. That's what we'll try to do next. Thanks for watching. Um, I will see you next time.